So this is the rear end we took out. Now this is a Dana 44 out of a Sport. Obviously it doesn't have lockers in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and build a set of control arm skids. So we have this set of rough country skids that were on it. We had to cut into them quite a bit and we had to the arms in it, the main bolt was froze, so I had to cut those out. Now the only thing, some of the main things we're going to do differently is this is going to be a heavier pad. Should be a pretty easy fab up though. Now make a room for the arm itself. I know it's never going to be all the way out because that's that would be full stuff. So I think we're going to kind of take some guidelines off this rough country one. We'll come up to this edge here so this will just be a like a five inch wide pad that we're just going to connect four of those tabs to we know at full droop it would never be an issue it's only at full stuff so that skid will come across the bottom and i'll bring it up to probably about here and then it'll cover the shock mount as well so it'll be just below the shock mount itself all right, to get, all right, to get this template started, I'm going to need some strips. So there's some inch and a half strips here. Probably be about the same here. Let's see, let me put a bend in this. A good way to bend this stuff is just use your speed square again. Kind of put it where you want it and just fold it in. All right, so then we'll trim these to go on here and then uh, start cutting steel. Looks like about 122 degrees. Get this cut. Okay, we're gonna make one and everything goes as planned. We'll do the other one real quick. Alright, so I could probably bend this, it's quarter inch in my bender. But we're gonna relieve the bend just a little bit. And we're gonna relieve this section of it, bend it, and we'll backfill it with weld. Can always straighten it out a little bit if needed. A couple degrees past. So let's go 18. Alright, so if we were to put this on here, so I think that'll work. Try it with the other pieces. Okay, so I got that one all mocked up. I think we're ready to tack that in place. And to make some 
little cuts on the very ends of those pieces. So I'm going to take it apart, clean off some of this mill scale, and then uh, tack her up. I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up and I'm going to put it on the back so that in case I get hung up on something, it can slide up and over. Alright, so let's get the other side made. Alright, I think they turned out pretty good. Stick around to the very end of this. I'll show you on the on the Jeep once I install them. And over the next year we're going to try to develop a few products. So if you guys would be interested in a set of lower control arm skids for a JL, possibly even a JK. I'm not sure if the JT would be the same. It'd be worth trying. So if there's other things you'd like, let me know. We're thinking about putting stuff like this up on our website for sale. Always love some feedback, so stick around and check them out on the Jeep. And after you see the install, I'll see you in one of those videos. This has been Jeeping Mo. And here's the back side.